You Africans, please listen to me as Africans. And you non-Africans, listen to me with open mind. So far, so far for world. Amen. Enjoy for heaven. Amen. Christians go the yab. Amen. Spirit from heaven news. Amen. Muslims go they call. Amen. Allahu Akbar. So far, so far for world. Amen. Enjoy for heaven. Amen. Christians go the yab. Amen. Spirit from heaven news. Amen. Muslims go they call. Amen. Allahu Akbar. Amen. Open your eye everywhere. Archbishop na me be king. Go to na enjoyment. Imam na bayade. Archbishop na me be king. Go to na enjoyment. Imam na bayade. Ra 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 ra. Archbishop enjoy. and Islam. They are only artificial religions, artificial. And the reason why Islam and Mus and Christianity is spread all over Africa, we know, is to exploit the people. All Christians think like white, uh, like European, like English and Americans, and all Muslim people think like Arabs. So they're just diverting the um, African minds from their roots, that's all, you know. And Africans must know. You see, they must have the original one. And somebody must spread the knowledge of this. And I think I have the knowledge. The whole thing is that this world is a world of higher forces. And people must realize it. And you do it by yourself, in your home, by knowledge of your culture, or your background of your family, or your people. It's not through Christianity or Muslim. They're deceiving the people. When Fela began to preach a return to traditional religion, it was in search of a deeper African identity. It was a cultural provocation, an intellectual move. But in the spring of 1981, the spirits really visited Fela's house. Since this revelation, a dialogue with the other world takes place every day. At the shrine, around two in the morning, right in the middle of the show, Fela suddenly asks for silence and performs a rite on behalf of the main Yoruba spirits, Shango, Ogun, Ifa. The same great spirits that are found in America, in voodoo, in Afro-Cuban and Brazilian cults. On the altar, there are also the portraits of Malcolm X, of Nkrumah, the hero of African independence, and also that of Fela's own mother, who since her death has become the spirit of rain. give you a gift of music, musicianship. It must be well used for the good of humanity. If you use it for your own self by deceiving people or doing this, you will die young. You see? And I've told people this many times. So I'm going to prove them wrong and prove myself right. Because now I'm 44, I'm getting younger. Because I'm doing it right. I can play music for 10 hours. I'm never tired. 
I'm getting younger because the spiritual life of music that I've led rightly is helping me now. Sit down, not this time. Too many people this time now because no, I don't apologize for those who this time here. No vex. Yeah. Whether you like or you know like, after you hear this true talk, after you like or you know like, after you hear this true talk, if you like it good, yeah, yeah. if you know like you hang, yeah, yeah. if you like it good, yeah, yeah. if you know like you hang, yeah, yeah. if you hang you go die, yeah, yeah. you die for nothing, yeah, yeah. you go carry your body, go police station, you die, he run fully. Down for ground, your leg will be shaking. Look at you. Look at you, well, well, look at you. Down for ground, your leg will be shaking. Look at you. Look at you, well, well, look at you. Down for ground, your leg will be shaking. Look at you. You see, down for ground, your leg will be In the African community, there are some special women. They call them Yalaji. It means women who have special powers to see, to see the future, you know, to see front and back. You know, these are the special women. And people always, important people always have them around, you know, in the African home. Like I have my own Yalaje in my house, you know, who advises me what to do. By now, some of Fela's wives are gone. There are 15 left. These women display a remarkable courage, for life is often difficult in the Kalakuta Republic. Fela may very well be one of the greatest music stars in all Africa. Nonetheless, he continues to exist in an entrenched camp, a genuine rebel zone, and those in power don't like it.